this week's walk and talk. We're going to talk a little bit about Arcade 1UP. We got some new news earlier this week. So in case you missed it, last Thursday, Arcade 1UP had their That 1UP show and made a couple of announcements. All positive stuff for Arcade 1UP. As of recording of this, it's Sunday, February 19th, 2023. A lot of exciting news coming from Arcade 1UP, and it's the most that they've shared with us for a long time. I'm going to run into Coles first, see if there's any Arcade 1UP stuff left here. It's been, you know, there's a couple different Coles that I go to, and each of them had a couple different things. And just seeing what's left here, we're mid-February, what's left in the stores. It's always great to find Arcade 1UP inside stores. Let's check it out. So Cole still has the Mortal Kombat Collector Cade. And if you haven't seen this in person, it's a pretty good size here. It looked pretty cool in your game room. Just something different. I know these are like 16-bit ROMs. But it does look pretty cool. It's, it's a good size. It's got the games here on here. You know, they're coming hard to find. It is tempting. Pretty cool looking. Also, these are these keep popping up. I see a lot of these. I don't know if I've seen any reviews on these, but you know they're popping up in stores. It was nice to see some of these products in store. Pac-Man Stress Ball. So just some positive note that it looks like the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 online update is shooting for March. So something to take note of. You know, I know it's a sore subject and a lot of people are pretty upset about it. But, you know, it's not too far away and I think they're close. You can see that you can chain these two up and play someone head to head. It'd be cool if you could do that on Ridge Racer. I know we've talked about that. You've heard this in the past that it'd be cool to race against somebody if the if the two cabinets could connect when you thought you'd seen it all. Pac-Man soap on a rope. You know, it's just crazy how big the retro gaming has gotten. You know, it's something that I personally look for every time I go somewhere. What can we find? It's good to see these products. You got cherry lip balms. This is a true arcade one up, that's for sure. The button layout. It's different. It's kind of got a Capcom layout here. You think with the five buttons for Mortal Kombat, there's six here. Ghost stress ball too to go along with that that Pac-Man stress ball we saw. Pretty cool. It's good to see some other other things here. So they have a couple different handhelds here. You have a Galaga to the back side of here. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's okay, three, three AAA batteries and then the Ms. Pac-Man. So we know about the deluxe cabinets, right? The Ms. Pac-Man, the Pac-Man, and the Class of 81. And I, you know what? I'm going to throw in that MK2. So when they say three new titles that they just announced Thursday night and the potential of one XL, so four new cabinets, I'm going to eliminate those. Pac-Man, the Ms. Pac-Man, the Class 81, and the MK2 Deluxe. Not going to count any of those as the four new potential. So what do we think those are going to be? It's got to be Time Crisis. It has to be one, right? And what if Time Crisis is the XL. My opinion, Time Crisis or Street Fighter 2 are gonna be that XL. So one of them's gotta be. And if Time Crisis was $7.99, maybe Time Crisis is the XL. So Arcade One Up was very honest with us, telling us we're gonna get three brand new titles that have not been announced yet. So it's not gonna be like a repeat. So I mean, the, the XL is kind of confusing if we're gonna say it's Time Crisis, or, you know, a lot of people are pointing towards Street Fighter 2 in an XL form factor. 
it's it's interesting if we're going to go off a 799 price for time crisis but whether time crisis is the xl or not it's a brand new title what are the other two titles we know that one of them could be an 80s title they clearly said we expect to see one 80s title i mean what would that be you know this is up for debate it's very interesting I'm going to stop off at this Best Buy. This is the Best Buy that does not have that arcade one-up kiosk inside of it. We're going to run in here and see if there's any arcade one-ups left for sale. The last time I was here, they did have a couple of cabinets left. We'll run inside and see what's left. We have one NFL Blitz remaining here. And let's see what they're going for. Not seeing the price here for this. Gosh, I want to say it's $4.99 online. Everything else they've had here has sold out the Turtles in Time. Look at where Turtles in Time was. $3.15. Simpsons $6.99 when it was here. I, I hard, find that hard to believe anyone was going to pay that. Terminator $3.15. It's a pretty good price. And the Pac-Man Legacy $4.49. The NFL Blitz. You know, David McIntosh was very honest with us on Thursday. Travis did an excellent job. I mean, you know, that's the most honest they've been with us. Really appreciate how the community got to know a lot of stuff about, you know, well, what's the future of Arcade One Up? There's been so much discussions and people worrying about, you know, are they in trouble or anything? And, you know, they're playing it safe. We've talked about this. And, they, you know, the announcement of, the new cabinets, it's really exciting. I mean, there's some energy flowing from Arcade 1-Up. And, you know, give these guys some time. We'll see what happens here. It could be a long couple of months till we see something after those deluxe cabinets. Because that's probably what's next. You know, I, I was one of those that thought Time Crisis would be pretty soon. And that's why I made the, the plunge on Star Wars when I did. But... You know, we'll see. I mean, the Deluxe, I don't want to take anything away from the Deluxe. It's, it's, it's a new era of cabinets that aren't going to have that riser, as you see on the bottom here. You know, it's just going to be one piece. And, you know, you're not going to see too many cabinets in the future with the riser. But they did say that Walmart was going to keep those arcade one-ups without risers. And they were looking at, I believe a 379 price point going forward on that so there's a lot of new products coming with them and it's going to be exciting i think the next year going into 2024 it's going to be really exciting for arcade one up this best buy also has a playstation 5 on display pretty cool seeing one in person i this isn't on my radar per se but I do appreciate it. This is, uh, this is a great console, that's for sure. Five fifty nine, and again, it looks like you can just scan this and take it up to the register. Get some of those adult action figures, as you know, I like to call them. Pretty cool seeing Deathstroke here. Nineteen ninety nine. I mean, what do we think that eighties title is gonna be? There's so many good to choose, you know. I. I you gotta wonder if it's Qbert. I mean, seriously. I pole position. Wouldn't that be insane if that was our next driving cabinet? It's that speeding bullets we saw at that last Best Buy we were at. I said that I had this comic, and it's really Superman inside of there. Yeah, right here, Superman speeding bullets. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Picture of him from the back. So let's just pretend. Full position is our driver. Time crisis. What would be the third? What would be the third new title that they have not announced yet? If we're pretending that Street Fighter 2 is the XL. Going back to those images we saw from the Miami location. Remember that Sonic the Hedgehog cabinet, that yellow one? What, you know, was that just a prototype? Like, what happened with that? 
what else did we see? We saw a tapper cabinet, or it had a fridge in the on the bottom. We also saw. Now this is really interesting. Look at this Superman right here. It's like Kingdom Come. The Kingdom Come logo right here. I'm not familiar with this kind of like uh, Conan looking Superman, but. What was that other cabinet? This isn't this is an interesting one. Double Dragon. You know, they said, well, it's a prototype. And if you remember that double dragon cabinet, it had the shape of the battle toads. And that was like the idea that I had. Like, couldn't we get like a download double dragon for KI? How cool would that be? What if they were announcing a double dragon cabinet? in the ki form factor and that was double dragon 2 side art we saw and they're like well you know was this a prototype they didn't confirm that but what if those were our new titles a double dragon time crisis possible sonic the hedgehog you know they might not be saying everything maybe they're playing it safe and saying well you know we're, let's give them three we'll give them three new titles we'll throw it in an excel just to keep them speculating but, you know, to get, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog cabinet, trying to gear, like, you know, kids to get into Arcade 1-Up. I mean, I don't know how many adults. I'm going to use myself as an example here. My arcade room is packed. So for me to bring in another cabinet, I have to get rid of something or move it. I have to do something. Any of the cabinets, let's pretend it's Sonic. And, and Tapper, whether it's root beer Tapper or beer Tapper. Regardless what it is, it, that's the skin art, whether it has a refrigerator or not. Are you going to get rid of any of your existing cabinets to get either one of those two titles? I mean, that, that, that's something you can make. And there, there's a market for that. There's a market for a Tapper. Like, people would that would work great in your in your man cave in like a bar area where you have a golden tea, an NFL blitz, an NBA jam, you know, that sort of thing. But for me, I wouldn't get rid of any of my cabinets for either one of those two titles. A double dragon, I mean, that's interesting because if you have the IRK double dragon skin or you have an IRK in general, you can buy all three of those double dragon titles. And on top of that, if you have the Hilo hack for the MVSX, you'll have all the double dragons on there. So how important is that double dragon art? You got Boba Fett here. We have that Mandalorian Season 3 starting up pretty soon. March 1st will be pretty exciting. More Funko Star Wars here. I did see a Anakin Skywalker at a slot meet I was at this weekend. This is crazy how many of these they have. Look at the Ewok. I'm really excited for Star Wars. I can't wait to get that cabinet. So many questions going forward with Arcade 1-Up. You know, after these new titles and everything, he got Venom here. Thinking of Sega titles. You know, they've held on a Golden Axe for so long. It's their only Sega title. And you're like, where's Sega Spider-Man? You gotta wonder where these other Sega titles are. You know, David said you know they own ninety eight percent of the license for arcades. It's just you gotta wonder where these other superhero themed ones are. You know, it'd be cool to get a Batman arcade, the Spider Man Sega arcade, and that Superman one where it had that red Superman. Or you wanna just think it's Shazam? Take a look at some of the Marvel Legends here. You have some, you have some Mandalorian. We we're just talking about that season three Mandalorian coming out soon. These Marvel action figures look pretty cool, and you got to be really choosy nowadays on what you're gonna get into, what you're gonna buy. There's just so much stuff that I'd be careful. Especially if you're picking up arcades.
I always say this, it's always great to see arcade one-ups in store. I, you know, either Best Buy that I go to, there's always something there. They had the NFL Blitz here. It's cool. We saw Coles had that Collector K, the Mortal Kombat 2. Always fun stuff to see. Best Buy is becoming one of my favorite stores. You know, again, I would, I'd get all my arcade one-ups through here if I could. I tried to wait for Star Wars to come out at Best Buy, and I just, I didn't want to miss out on it, so I did go through Shop Hippo. We're going to stop at Target, wrap up this week's walk and talk. We'll check out their toys over there and finish up with Arcade 1-Up. The adult action figures at Target, one of my favorite things to do when I shop here every week. Yeah, snake eyes. Ninja Turtles. And for anything new here, there's this cool Batman. This is pretty awesome. You can see that lightning behind him. A little set you can you can make out. That is cool. There it is. The best intro, hey, on that Batman animated series. I am the knight. There's a lightning. The turtles. There was one that was Leonardo and Shredder, and I am it must have been a year ago, and I completely passed on it. Went back maybe the next week to try to find it. It was gone. That thing was the one to get. You know, you see these. There's some with, like, Karate Kid, Cobra Kai. This one's Street Fighter Two. That one. That was cool. The Power Rangers. It's kind of crazy what action figures are going for. I mean, this, look at this Godzilla. 25 bucks. Just insane. They've made it so expensive to collect. Look how much Splinter is. <laughs> Not a fun co. This is the target that I got my Star Trek Enterprise from. I just saw it's, there's a couple here still. A couple more of those Enterprises. It's pretty cool. That looks good on like your desk. And it does have the sounds. That looks like the Spock from Star Trek IV. That's one of the best ones. That sports almanac from Back to the Future 2. Yeah, Beth. A hill valley there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I remember Raphael dressing up. I don't remember the Leonardo in street clothes. It always seems like that's Raphael, but you know, these, man, it's hard to pass up stuff like this. This takes you right back to that 1990 when this movie came out. Buddy Dan from Outrun the Neon Sun, I think he has this, this E.T. in your office. It's a goodie. But when I said the Leonardo and Shredder, it was like, it was a package like this one. It was like true, you know, 89, 89 cartoon. You know, they have a whole set of the Batman 66. And this is the villains, villains united. There was a Bat Cave here. That one sold out. And they did have the Batmobile, the Bat Cycle. And it's just crazy they can come back with this and you know, everybody wants it again. Metalhead. Man, let's look at that detail they put in these. I mean, I you know, I get the $25, $40 price tag on some of this stuff. Transformers. This. Now this is, look at this, $53, right? Starscream from 1986, the Transformer movie. I think Patriot Prime just did a review on this on his channel. 
think this was the one. Awesome review. That is pretty cool. I mean, it's the true 80s action figure. Wow. 53 bucks. That's tempting. Jason, your review was so solid. It makes me want to spend this right now. Humble B brand. The 80s. You know, newer stuff. It's always interesting to see what newer Transformers they do have. But by far, this is awesome. I'm, I'm so tempted right now to get this. Flashpoint action figure makes you think about that new Flash movie. If you've seen that preview, where it's got Michael Keaton, Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman, Ezra Miller returning as the Flash. That movie is a total Flashpoint story. That could be the best DC movie yet. Adam, get it back here. And then Captain Cold. Look at Storm Shadow. 18 bucks. Yeah, that's awesome. And the toys are a little different, so they would bend, right? The knees would bend. The underneath the bicep, you know, that they had joints. Different mold now, but it's about the same size as when I was collecting these when I was a kid. I mean, we're, we're, look at this. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow together. You got Cobra Commander. Yeah, it was two different types of Cobra, right? It was it was this this shield over his face, and then he had that and that loose mask where his eyes were just sticking out. Turn of the Dark Knight, part one and two. He's 25 bucks. You got the Joker. He really got it in the end of that one, didn't he? <laughs> Superman, Buddy Mike, the bad guy Mike Worley. Just told me he started getting into these Ninja Turtles again. He was finding these. Those 80s molds. We just saw this one. Look at Shredder. $11.99. And that's cool. You got there, Michelangelo. Back of the shredder box. That is cool. I'm going to regret not picking this up. Love that original Turtles logo. I was at a swap meet, and they actually had unopened packs from 1989 and Ninja Turtles trading cards. Probably even had that stick of gum in it. I don't know if I was interested in the cards, but the box that they were in, like I just couldn't get away from it. It's just so cool to see that packaging. And it's also cool to see Masters of the Universe in stores. I really get into this again. I did buy Battle Cat and He-Man about a year ago. And they just keep making new models every year. I mean, I mean you remember this guy. Is this really a thing? I can't believe it. Like, would this really work? Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, what is this? They're running hands free, talk on the phone, watch something. Like you're really gonna stream with it? This is crazy, I've never seen this. I thought it was a joke. It's a real thing, 15 bucks. So my two favorite figures we saw all day was the Starscream at Target from 1986, Transformers the movie, that was awesome. And the Speeding Bullets, Batman, Superman figure at Best Buy. Always cool to see this stuff. It just brings, brings you back to the 80s and 90s. And that's, that's why I'm doing this. You know, this is what drives me to go back to those times when it was just, you know, everything was just so different. And it excites me after buying the iArcade Gold, the At Games Micro Pinball, and the Neo Geo MVSX. I, I said to a couple of people, you know, I haven't bought an arcade one up for a long time. And there's like not much excitement for me. You know, I know Time Crisis is going to come and, and that. And yeah, I ordered Star Wars. But after David opened up with Travis, it brought so much excitement back to the community. I mean, you just look at everyone that was in that live stream. 
We're all talking about it. It's all positive vibes. Everyone is pleased with the amount of time that they both spent answering as many questions and giving us a lot of hope for the future. It will be, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun finish of the year and we'll see what else comes out. There's a lot of speculation. It could be Double Dragon. It could be the Sonic the Hedgehog, the Tapper with the fridge, without the fridge, Time Crisis. You know, these, and maybe Tapper is that 80s, you know, cab that they were talking about, but how awesome if the next driver was pole position. I just don't think we're at Daytona yet. I think that's, you know, that's going to be pushed back because you put out Daytona. What, what are you going to put out after that to top that racer? I think they're going to hold on to that a little bit. I think you could put a shooter out like Time Crisis and still bring something like Lethal Enforcers, Area 51, and make it so exciting that Daytona is like the top of the top when it comes to racers. So there's, you know, there's going to be a lot of speculation on, on, on a lot of people's shows on what you think these new cabinets are going to be. Something to talk about, guys. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.